Hello there, this is uh, Cody Stroff with my 2001 Honda S2000. As you people previously remember, I had a uh, video before that featured my Comtech supercharger with the rising rate fuel pressure regulator unit and Walpro 255 LPH fuel pump. Since then, I've removed that junk because it's exactly what it is and replaced it with the AEM version 2.0 ECU, a Aeromotive 340 LPH fuel pump, ID 1000 CC injectors, and a quality tune from Top Speed Tuning in Alpharetta, Georgia. And with that, the difference in drivability as well as speed is simply remarkable. As well, not to mention a 3-bar map sensor that has to be changed out as well. Uh, with a 3.4 inch pulley from size to speed, top boost is now 11 PSI, and the final tune on the dyno registered 360 horsepower to the rear wheel, to the rear wheels, as well as 209 foot-pounds of torque port obviously being what you're looking at. Uh, on the quarter mile track, someone with a similar setup shouldn't have a problem hitting a quarter mile in 13 seconds at about 111 miles per hour. That's with a good 60 foot time and uh, solid mount uh, polyurethane bushings in the differential. That's a necessity. Uh, the drivability of the car, like I said again, is just amazing. Excellent fuel economy for the kind of horsepower that's making. 23 miles to a gallon. Uh, a few things that I do recommend uh, changing is your retainers. If your engine's a 2.0 liter uh, AP1 model from 2000 to 2002, you're going to want to put the uh, stronger AP2 later model retainers on the valves just in case of an acc accidental over rev. A few things that I've also improved is the, the braking on the car. I can't show that to you, but I've had a, I've got Hawk HPS brake pads, fresh fluid, and some slotted rotors. Uh, that's just a you know, give it that little extra margin of safety, bleeding off the speeds that it's it's capable of. The performance is pretty much right on with the Corvette Z06. Um, and top speed, you can hit top speed with the top up, and that's about 172 miles per hour. A few more things that you'll want to uh, look into if you're considering this setup is, you know, it's mandatory to put a stronger clutch in the car. You're going to have to, uh, I recommend the ACT heavy duty pressure plate. Uh, as well as the factory um, friction disc and a new throw out bearing to eliminate any kind of unwanted clutch buzz. As well as some safety equipment, you know, a boost gauge and a wide band oxygen sensor. And have that tuned uh, with, your, with your car. Have that all ready to go when you get ready for a tune. That's just safety equipment to make sure that, you know, you're not running lean. Um, with these kind of boots, with with this kind of boost, 11 psi, you're, you know you're going to want to look into uh, changing your spark plugs as well. Go two steps colder to uh, <clears throat> rise your threshold, uh, you know, against engine knock, and get you a little bit more timing in there, and you make a little bit more power. Uh, with this car set up, uh, you know what else I've had done to it is, you know, I I've installed the Burks header, as well as a T1R 70 millimeter test pipe, which you can't see. That uh that helps it out. You know, a little bit. Um, coming springtime, hopefully I'll put a uh, T1R 70 millimeter uh, Sparrow exhaust, dual exhaust, and uh, pick up a few more horses there. And I may even consider a three-inch pulley and a, a retune from Top Speed Tuning. Uh, when you get ready for a tune, make sure that they lower the VTEC transition point. You know, you're going you're gonna to need to drop it down to about 3,000 RPMs. Otherwise, you're going to have a car that's going to be a little unnerving when you when you switch over to the high cam uh, and boost. So uh, you know basically that's it. 2001 Honda S2000, 360 horsepower, 209 foot-pounds of torque, you know, all to the rear wheels, um, with that good good uh, Honda quality. So you can't beat it. It's an awesome deal. Um, and for those people that are considering a brand new supercharger, just don't even look at the uh, piggyback band-aids and all that nonsense rising rate fuel pressure regulators because you're, you're going to end up throwing that junk out anyways. So, you know, do it the first time and do it right. And, you know, if you live in California, well, you're fucked. So, y'all have a good day and uh, leave me some comments. Thank you. Bye.